Warning, the following is a sponsored video, but that won't change my views. I've been offered several times to review or advertise uh, several things uh, with, uh, in some cases, very lucrative deals, but I decline because I either think the service is not, let's say, moral, or the game they wanted me to review wasn't very good. But in this case, I had purchased the Book of Demons almost exactly a year ago, and actually find it pretty entertaining. So, what is Book of Demons? It's a dungeon crawler, crawler where abilities and spells are cards. There are normal versions of cards, then there are the magical ones that can be of di with different variety. And there is, of course, the legendary quality. We have the mage, the warrior and the rogue. There are some substantial differences between this game and other dungeon crawlers. The most noticeable is you are not very free to move in all directions. You are limited to this path you can see very clearly. This will force you to strategize uh, on the movements and engage to minimize the damage taken. The second feature is the flexiscope system trademark that allows you <laughs> to choose the length of the session. It is pretty accurate but it will get more and more accurate the more you play. You have only 15 minutes, set it to 13 minutes and you'll be fine. This game is kinda of a completionist wet dream. I personally have to gather everything, every single coin, every single uh, chest, I have to do everything, uh, clear the whole map. And they help you on this because uh, no matter where you are, once you've cleared everything, a nice uh, stair icon appears. You click it and you go to the next level. Another particular feature is the cauldron. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. When you level up, you can choose to either put a point in mana or life. What you don't choose will go to the cauldron. During your adventure, you'll find, you'll find some items that will go into the cauldron again. Three bronze prizes makes a silver one. Three silver one makes a gold one. Whenever you want, you can go to the mermaid, barmaid, <laughs> and claim your prizes. You get uh, what you didn't choose. So if you choose mana, you get a life back. And the prize in the cauldron, bronze is money, silver can be a variety of things, and gold is a rare or legendary card. If you die, you lose anything there was in the cauldron. Speaking about death, there is also something called daredevil mode, which is basically hardcore. All the daredevil characters go into a ladder that shows uh, who's gone deeper. When you claim your prizes, the cost of cauldron increases every time. Let's talk about cards. As I said, there are multiple cards and uh, of three qualities, the normal, the magical and the legendary one. Each one can be upgraded up to level 3. Some are items, like potions, bombs, etc, and they consume their own charges. There are spells, fireball, thunderbolt, etc, etc, and they consume what is called blue mana. For you PoE players, blue mana is the unreserved mana. And some are artifacts that grant passive bonuses or a proc and the reserve mana or what they call the green mana. With a little bit of planning you can build your own deck. You can purchase slots so you can have a bigger deck. If you spend enough money you can have a massive deck. Me I have a small deck. I don't need a big deck because uh, what's important is not the size of your deck but how well you can use your deck. One thing I really really like about this game is the art. I don't call it graphic, I call it art. Because it's really art. The characters and everything in it is like those... Uh, I don't know how you call it, but are those uh, um, paper sculptures. When you bend uh, the paper to create uh, like a little figurine. Pretty much like origami, but origami just uh, bending and folding paper. This is uh, like uh, small sculptures made of uh, paper, are really really good. Someone online made uh, this kind of uh, paper figurines uh, about uh, anyone. Probably there's probably some PoE related. But anyway, the art, the graphic, it's really 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 good. It's different, I've never seen a game that uses this kind of technique. It's uh, really really nice. I could show you my deck, but I'd rather you to build your own. Once you completed the first run through, you can redo it with increased difficulty and different challenges. For example, just name two, you might be forced to use some cards, or some card could be cursed, meaning you can't use them. There are many many more features in Book of Demons, and keep in mind that it's still in beta. 
If you wish to purchase it, you can do so through the link I provided in the description. It is purchasable using Ethereum, which is a new experimental non-centralized currency, something like uh, Bitcoin or along those lines. But worry not, they provide a very simple and detailed step-by-step -step on how to purchase and how it works. Of course, I get a portion of that purchase. I really hope you enjoyed this very first sponsor video and you find it entertaining. Let me know if you liked it or if you dislike it. I do read all the comments and reply to anyone. Thanks for watching and as always, don't forget to improve yourself.